Cylon tea is one of Sri Lanka's most important products for export. The fresh tea leaves spoil quickly, so they're brought from the plantation straight to the factory. This factory produces 55,000 kilos of tea each day. Now that machines have taken over the job of weighing and chopping the tea leaves, output has soared. For Saman Upasen, this means higher profits but also greater energy needs. Most of the people who can afford to have, especially in the private sector, they have gone for automation. Tea is a food, so it's a hygienic uh, thing. So we need to have, without handling too much of labor, if you can automate, then you will have a better product. To lower its energy costs, the company invested in a hydroelectric plant, which opened last year. It's a small plant that meets the factory's needs and contributes 1.4 megawatts to the national grid. It cost the company two and a half million euros, but they're gaining power and profits from it. We are exporting uh, the energy to the uh, national grid and uh, they are paying a reasonable rate uh, for the, uh, whatever the uh, exported energy. Sri Lanka has plenty of experience with hydropower. A hundred years ago, the first tea factories here in the highlands turned to waterfalls and rivers for energy. Today, hydroelectric power meets about 45% of Sri Lanka's energy needs. They've run out of room for large dams, but there's still plenty of room for small installations. One small plant is being built here at the edge of the highlands. The investors stop by every few months to keep an eye on the work. To generate the power, water from the river is passed through a pipe. Then it plunges almost 100 meters. The moving water drives the turbine. For Lalith Senavaratne, the benefits of the project are clear. The environmental impact of these small plants are smaller. Uh, firstly, there's no large dam which inundates a big area and perhaps sometimes displaces people. Here in a small hydro, you never have any displacing of people. The plant will be finished later this year. When it's done, it'll supply 1,500 households with green electricity.